waiting for you. It's time to play Truth or Consequences. Truth or Consequences, the show that does everything on the air, brought to you by the soap that does everything in your wash, the new does with the Extra Duty Formula. Ah, the peaceful season of autumn has come to Kansas City. Together with that fellow with a cyclone of pies, a tornado of seltzer, and a hurricane of lamps, Ralph Big Wind Edwards. America's great cities, Kansas City, Missouri. <laughs> Broadcasting, or does, through one of America's great radio stations, WDAF in Kansas City. And tonight, we tune in Calais, France, to hear Otto the Great start his English Channel swim. Hello, we have you all dressed up in coveralls, don't we? What is Looks your name? Like what is your name? Richardson. My goodness, we just, just picked you in time from the audience, didn't we? I don't know. You were the last one chosen out of our great... Uh, municipal auditorium here this evening. Isn't that right? I guess I am. I think so. All right, you're all dressed up and cover all. What is your name, please? Richardson. Miss Richardson, where are you from? Mobley, Missouri. Good. What is your, uh, occupation? I'm just a housewife. Well, that's great. You know all about does, then, of course. Sure, I do. <laughs> all right. Uh, what is Kansas City noted for, mostly? Do you know? Oh, I... What is Moberly noted for? Oh, the Wabash Railroad. <laughs> about Moberly, she knows. Well, Kansas City's noted for a lot of things, isn't it? Uh, I, certainly, I hear uh, they open their big 51st Livestock and Horse Show next week here in Kansas City, the American Royal. Uh, yes, I know about that. You do? All right, now I'm going to have a question for you, Miss Richardson. Miss, we'll have a little consequence, okay? Oh, mercy. Oh, mercy. <laughs> this is Martha B. Ag of Philadelphia. Ask this question. What, when it loses an eye, has only a nose left? Truth or consequences? Oh. Mrs. Richardson. Oh, my. Oh, my. What are you saying out loud? I don't know. <laughs> what when it loses an eye has only a nose left? The answer is the word noise. Take out eye, it's nose. Oh, I see now. <laughs> that's, that's all right now. Good. What? That's all right now. Okay, we're in, huh? Uh-huh. All right, you haven't told the truth, so you must pay the consequences. Now, uh, Mrs. Richardson, uh, do you see that platform we've built way up high on the stage there? Oh, mercy, yes. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's our truth or consequences crow's nest. We want you to climb up the ladder that leads up to the platform and make yourself comfortable way up there. Will you do that? I don't know why I can or not. Oh, I you don't look comfortable. Oh, I assure you it is. I it, don't look it. Oh, yes, it is. It's got an air compression thing on there. Just lift you up. Come on, walk over here. Johnny Pollock, turn on the microphone, will you, please? And we'll walk over together. Now, you're going to stay up there all during the rest of the program. Oh, mercy. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, Mrs. Richardson... We want you to take this pair of field glasses and put the, put on this admiral's hat, too, if you will, please. Okay? Well, I feel like a gump. You feel like a what? A gump. Why, you don't look like a gump. <laughs> All right. What do you suppose the folks in Moberly are going to say? I don't know. I'll hear about more corners. All right. All right. Now, we want you to take this pair of field glasses and put on this admiral's hat and look out over our audience of some 7,000 people here and see if you can spot your husband, Okay. I wish I could see him now. You got me into this. <laughs> well, he's, he's here in our audience. Uh, he's, isn't he? I hope so. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. He, uh, honest to goodness, is because he was seated with you and he, we haven't taken him out. All right, now you go on up there. We changed his seat, though, uh, when you came up here on stage. Now, hang on, my dear, as you go up there. Yeah, I think you can. Now, go very easily up there. That's it. Al, you help her. That's it. Watch your step now. There she goes up in the crow's nest. Now, we changed his seat when you came up here on stage, so uh, he won't be seated in the same spot as you last saw him. And if at any time during this next half hour of Truth or Consequences, you should spot your husband and yell out, There she blows! Let's hear you say that one. There she blows! There she blows! There she blows! There she blows! Yeah, that's it. That's it. <laughs> that's if you see your husband. Now, listen to me. Mrs. Richardson, if you do spot your husband in this Kansas City Municipal Auditorium during our Truth of Consequences show, we will give you $500, okay? All right, I'll look for him today. <laughs> He's up in the crowd, class. He's looking. Hello there. What is your name, please? Angel Quick. Mrs. Quick? Yes. Where are you from? Camden, Missouri. Yes, indeed. What is your occupation? Postmaster. Here's the postmaster, postmistress? Master. Postmaster of Quick, Missouri at our microphone. Nice to have you. How many people? 
Qu- in, uh, in, uh, in Camden. Population 399. All right, now here's a question for you. Uh, Mrs. Quick, miss it, and we'll have a real fast question. Uh, George Rule of Chicago asks... Okay. Uh, okay, we'll let you hear now. Uh, where do we find mangoes? Truth or consequences? Well, I guess I'll have to say. <laughs> <laughs> where a woman goes. Mangoes. Oh. Well, you have to go through, so you must pay the consequences, Mrs. Quick. Now, uh, Mrs. Quick, you set the warm-up. You can play the piano. Is that right? Okay. All right. And you also can play our brand-new instrument called the shower o cord. It consists of eight small shower stalls in a row with a cord extending from each shower nozzle. All cords within arm's reach. Unveil the shower o cord, please, boys. There it is. Isn't that beauty? Huh? Turn on the mic again, Johnny. Isn't that a beautiful machine? Huh? Yes. That's an instrument. All right. Now, you, as you uh, probably realize, uh, take the ladies' purse, please. Uh, the tone from the shower cord comes from eight men in each of the separate shower stalls. We've had eight men selected in our warm-up. Remember when we had a whole lot of people singing down by the Old Mill Stream? All right. They're dressed in 1890 bathing suits and shower caps, and here they come on stage. <laughs> How do you do, gentlemen? What are you doing? I'm Nash Conover. Uh, Kansas City. Walter Baumgartner, Kansas City. Don Travis, Fallon, Nevada. Now, from where? Fallon, Nevada. From Nevada. What are you doing here, Miss Travis? Future Farmer Convention. A Future Farmer Convention. Oh, you came. Yeah, are What are you doing? Now, KC. Good. Well, it's Cardino, Texas, and Missouri. Texas and Missouri. Always to Texas. You're commuting, eh? What? Bob Essie, Kansas City, Kansas. Yes, sir. Jack Gerling, Dayton, Ohio. Good. Ray Brackenberry, Independence, Missouri. All right. All right. Now we have them all here. Now, gentlemen, each one of you get under one of the eight showers, will you? And when Mrs. Quick pulls that particular cord that releases the shower water down on your head, you sing out the word boing. You understand? Uh, let's try the scale, shall we, Mrs. Quick? Come over and look this over. You see, we have a number one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right. Now, you start at C, you see. That would be uh, there on number one. Go right up the scale. You have to pull rather hard. You can feel it out as you go. Pull. Here we go. Boing. <laughs> boing. 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 Gets extra beauty from Extra Beauty Does. 
sheets and shirts and towels look real white? Right. They get a whiteness beyond anything once thought possible. And what new does, does for grimy work clothes. Get them clean? Ah, uh, that's what I mean. Without any hard scrubbing either. And that's not all. There's more? Why, sure. New does leaves those nice prints and stripes you wash looking prettier than ever. Does is safest for colors of all leading wash day package soaps. Well, swell. And of all those soaps, only does has the extra duty formula. Never before could you get such whiteness with so much safety for color. So get does. The box is the same, but inside is the new does with the extra duty formula. See how does does everything now. Wow, you were does lightful, extra duty low cost. Does lightful. <laughs> How are you doing up there in the crow's nest? Can't make these things work. You can't make them work? No. Oh, yeah, they're, they're bona fide, honest. They're, 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 I'll help her with it there. For goodness sakes, uh, haven't you spotted your husband in this no. vast Kansas City audience? Mrs. No, I can't make him work. $500. If you, he's out there, could you give your wife a word of encouragement, Mr. Richardson, please? Yeah. Up there in the cuckoo's nest. Not cuckoo's nest, crow's nest, Mr. <laughs> Richardson. <laughs> keep looking, will you, Mrs. Richardson? You'll keep looking, won't you? I'll try. He's worth more than $500, but I'll look. <laughs> <laughs> and now, ladies and gentlemen... <laughs> Now it's time to tune in the beach at Calais, France, on the English Channel to hear from our Truth or Consequences contestant, Mr. Bert Kennedy, and the Truth or Consequences contender for the English Channel swim, Otto the Great. Two weeks ago, Bert Kennedy, our contestant, left Hollywood with Otto the Great for New York and thence to Paris and Calais, where all this week, Otto the Great, whose real name is Pierre Cillion, has been making secret practice swims. We understand that British and French reporters are on hand now in front of Otto the Great's portable bathhouse on the shore of the English Channel at Calais. We now are going to tune in an English sports announcer, Mr. Alan Adair, who will report this internationally highlighted sporting event. Bert Kennedy, our contestant and trainer of Otto the Great, is standing by him. So across the Atlantic Ocean and the English Channel, and come in, Alan Adair in Calais, France. country, and uh, uh, we'll attempt again in just a few moments to make contact with Calais, France, uh, and the, uh, the reporters, the newsreels, everybody uh, waiting there at the bathhouse, the portable bathhouse on the beach at Calais, and the swim will actually take place tonight whether we make contact or not. This would happen at this time, wouldn't it? Hello, how are you? Thank you. Why, it's nice to have you here. What uh, is your name, please? This is B.F. Johnson. I'm sorry, I don't hear you, my dear. This is B.F. Johnson. Hello, Miss B.F. Johnson. Where do you hail from? Sibley, Missouri. Sibley? Yes, sir. Where's Sibley? Well, it's east to here. It's the old fort, coast the old fort, Sibley. Fort of Sage. All right. They're yelling a little louder back there, so you're going to have to talk just a little louder, Miss Johnson. I say it's where the old fort of Sage is. Oh, I see. Yes. And uh, how many people would you say uh, live in uh, Sibley? Well, about 150, I suppose. Mm Mm-hmm. Have you lived there long? Yes, quite a while. Uh, we'd get on good. I'm from Marina, Colorado. That's because that has a little more. There's 290 there, I think, Tom. <laughs> All right. Now, I have a question for you. Uh, Mrs. Uh, B.F. Johnson, Miss, we'll have a little consequence, okay? Uh, Mrs. W.H. Christman of Springfield, Ohio, wants to know, why is an egg like a horse? Truth or consequences, Miss B.F. Johnson. Well, it's, hard. it's not very hard to break, I reckon. What's that? It's not very hard to break. <laughs> well, you're very close. You're very close. Neither can be used until it's broken. Well, you were mighty close, I want to tell you. As a matter of fact, as a matter of fact, so close, we're going to pray, uh, pay you the uh, usual prize money that uh, you get for answering a question. The person answered the question in 1942, and we gave them $15. We're going to give you the same thing for answering correctly here. <laughs> <laughs> Mrs. Uh, Johnson, tell us a little bit about your uh, life in Sibley. Uh, you live alone or what? Yes, sir, I live alone. Mm-hmm. Uh, well, I... Uh... 
I generally have somebody to live in the house with me, but I'm left quite a bit uh, alone. I'll bet you uh, you're really the well-loved person of Sibley yes, there. I hope so. Well, we asked in the warm-up for anyone who could remember any old folk songs or ballads they heard their parents or grandparents sing. How long did you say you've lived around Sibley? Oh, about... Oh, 50 years. Yeah, 50 years. Yeah. Well, what songs do you know out of the past that you might uh, be able to recall here this evening? Well, I might sing Billy Boy for you. Billy Boy? Well, yeah. that would be a nice... <laughs> I'd all like to hear that. Do you, think, do you think you could sing it for us here in this great Kansas City Municipal Auditorium tonight, just coast to coast? Well, uh, I can try. I bet you can, all right. All right, they'll be listening in your hotel, hometown of Sibley. Missouri. All right. Well, now, when you get through singing this song, we want you to call anyone in your hometown of Sibley, Missouri, and if you can get one person on the telephone there who heard you sing tonight, we'll give you $250 in any merchandise you want from Spiegel's famous catalog mail order house in Chicago. Is that all right with you? All right. You have your own home, do you? Yes, sir. Well, you could, you know, maybe there's some things you need. All right. Now, ladies and gentlemen, it is my pleasure to present Mrs., uh, what is your uh, first name? B.F. Johnson. B.F. You want what is your... Maggie Johnson. Maggie? That's good. <laughs> this is Maggie Johnson of uh, Sibley, Missouri, in her own rendition of that old American folk tune, Billy Boy. Now, uh, we have uh, uh, Howard Jenkins giving a little uh, uh, organ business there. You started out, Howard will follow you. Oh, where have you been, Billy Boy, Billy Boy? Oh, where have you been, Shining Billy? I've been to seek a wife, she's the joy of my life. But she's young, young, and can't leave her mammy. Oh. Can't you take a cherry pie, Billy boy, Billy boy? Can't you take a cherry pie, charming Billy? She can take a cherry pie, pick us and lick your eye. She's a young, young, and can't leave her mother. Oh! All right, now... Well, I'm uh, asking I have enough time to get in stand where you want me to. Well, he's just in front of the microphone, <laughs> and if you've never been in front of one, well, why, I how never, can you know? We've I got ten see. men to show you where to stand, huh? Isn't that right? I suppose Yeah, sure. So it isn't your place to know where to stand. You come on over to the telephone here, if you will, please. And uh, you're, we want you to call somebody in your hometown. Turn around this way uh, so you can uh, face the, the microphone over here, my dear. That's the stuff. Now, if anyone says they were listening to you in your hometown of Sibley, Missouri, you'll receive $250 in merchandise, okay? Yeah. Now, all you're going to have to do now is just uh, lift the receiver uh, because uh, we contacted the Sibley, Missouri hometown operator on the phone. Do you know her name? By the oh, well, Miss, Miss Battle. Yeah. All right, the battle's on, so go ahead and uh, and just say hello and try to get somebody. Hello. I want to... Uh, say, tell, you, tell her who it is, so she'll know This is Ms. B.F. Johnson of Sibley, Missouri. Yeah, well, that's your own hometown operator, yes, yes. so she'll know you. Yes. Well, I, I want to uh, call 30F22. That's ring one and pull seven, I think. I'm not... <laughs> is, that, uh, is that a party line, you suppose? Yes, that's a party line. Uh, now, remember, if you can get anybody who says that they were listening to you in Sibley, why, then you'll get the $250. What did she say? Ask uh, Miss Battle what's going on. What's going on? Have you got them yet? Hello? What'd she say? Hasn't the anyone answered? Well, yeah, yeah. Yes, bring them again. Well, try, try somebody else. They're probably not home. Uh, try, think of someone else. Just give her the name. She can get it. Well, three, uh, ring 37F5. Or two, no, two seven F five. Yeah. Two seven F five. Uh, that means five children in the family when you get that F five. <laughs> okay. What do you say, operator? How's she coming? Oh goodness, you have to hurry. We've got to get someone who's listening. Can't you get her? What'd she say? She said the woman at home. Oh, for goodness' sake! Well, well, I tell you, let's call her um three. <laughs> Three O F one four. Yeah, four kids this time. We're going to get here if it takes us all night. Now, while uh, while you're trying uh, to get just one person to say they heard you in Sibley, Missouri, Mrs. Johnson, your hometown of 150 people, we'll take time to say, here's our extra dozy singer. There's a new, new, new dust at your store. Now that everything folks does even more. Extra duty formula, that's the clue. It's extra duty does for you. Does it get tall white? They never were so white. With such safety for colors, too. Extra duty formula, that's the clue. 
improve, does a wider, cleaner wash for you. Extra duty does for you. Let does do extra duty for your wash. Of all leading wash day soaps, only does has this extra duty formula. So never before could you get such whiteness for towels and linens with so much safety for color. Try new extra duty does. See how does does everything now. Hurry up, come on. Here is Uncle. Have you been able to reach anyone in your hometown who heard you sing? Oh, I haven't heard of one yet. Oh, for goodness sake. She's, she's tried four calls while the Dudley Singers were. Tell your operator to connect you with anyone in town. Well, connect me with someone that's in Sibley. <laughs> she says there just doesn't seem to be anyone so far. My goodness, isn't there anyone in your town who is home? No, I think they're maybe over here. No. Oh, for goodness sake. Uh, you, you, uh, you're, you're, uh, you know, think that we're too popular. How many people live in your town? Hello. How many people live in your town? About 150. Oh, what do you know? What a shame. Your whole town has let you down. Isn't that awful? Well, I think so. Yes. Well, now, I'll tell you what. You're singing so beautifully, and none of the 150 folks in your town heard you so that you could win your prize. Where do you suppose they all went, Miss Johnson, huh? I guess they went to the show. My goodness. Do you have any idea? No, I do not. Well, turn around, Mrs. Johnson, and tell me uh, who these people are behind these curtains. Draw the curtains, boy. Who is it? Yeah. 
Uh, oh, uh, Johnson of Oldsman Johnson. Uh, Mrs. Clayton. I'm sorry. Uh, Johnson is not laughing, boy. But thanks for a wonderful try. We're sending you a 48-piece set of fine art sterling silver for helping play our mystery game tonight. Good night. Who is Laughing Boy? Again, sometime during the week, Laughing Boy will make a surprise telephone call to some unsuspecting person somewhere across the country. Tune in next Saturday to hear if you were that person. Listen. <laughs> Who is Laughing Boy? Now, ladies and gentlemen, be sure, uh, there, we're going to uh, find from Mrs. Richardson if she's found her husband yet, but remember to tune in next week to uh, hear if Otto the Great made the channel swim. He's going to actually swim it tonight. They'll make, and if he, if, uh, it'll be a, a dollar a minute for every minute he takes off the record. Otto the Great actually will swim it along with our uh, contestant in the rowboat, so be listening next Saturday. I'm sorry that uh, we couldn't get through tonight to Calais. How are you doing up there, Mrs. Richardson? Not so hot. Yeah, well, now, wait a minute. <laughs> uh, uh, you, any sign of your husband? No, I haven't. You mean... Yeah, you mean, well, that's too, too bad, uh, Mrs. Uh, Richardson, because he's right down here in the first section, first seat, second row, right down there. Stand up and wave to your wife, please. There you go. There we go. All right. Uh, the thing is, do you see? Yes, say I something. Did you say something? Stand up, Mr. Richardson. Hello, everybody. Yeah, do you realize why you didn't uh, recognize him? Well, he didn't look like that when he left me. Well... <laughs> The only thing different about him is that he's wearing your hat. The hat that you had on when we put that Admiral's hat on, we gave it to you. That. What's that? That's not his hat, that's mine. Yeah, that's right. That's your hat. He's been wearing it. When you came up on stage, we took it away and gave it to him. Now, but I tell you what, uh, for being such a swell sport, we have a consolation prize, $100. as a consolation prize plus a $100 set of Vitacraft aluminum cooking utensils made here in Kansas City. You're wonderful, wonderful people. This is Ralph Edwards, the new does with the extra duty formula. From Kansas City, Missouri, good old Kansas City, sending you dozens of good watches, and until next week when Bert Kennedy, our English Channel contestant, returns to tell us if Otto beat the record and another call from Laughing Boy. Good night, everybody! <laughs> For a beautiful natural softness, exciting natural sheen, don't just wash your hair, condition it with new dreams. Now, a shampoo that conditions your hair. Conditions your hair to beautiful natural softness, natural sheen. It's the new Dream Shampoo with Beauty Conditioner. No other shampoo has this wonderful new Beauty Conditioner. It's an exclusive cleansing agent found only in gentle new Dream. Don't just wash your hair, condition it with new Dream. The new Dream Shampoo with Beauty Conditioner. Try it. This is Harold Wilcox, speaking for Parker and Gamble. Ralph Edwards' Super Consequences came to you from the Municipal Auditorium in Coming up now, your hit parade on NBC. Mm.